Well, it's obvious that I'm, I'm not much of a bass player, but I do own a bass guitar because uh, I figure it couldn't hurt to own one and try, at least try to play one. Uh, this guitar's name is Carolyn Monroe. This is a Squire Fender jazz bass in a style that they call 70s modified. Uh, it's got a two-piece maple body, a maple neck with these big block inlays. I guess that's the 70s part is it has that uh, 70s jazz bass look. Uh, I have taken the original pickups out and original pots and everything and replaced it. Uh, these are vintage noiseless jazz pickups uh, because I really I can't stand the hiss of single coil sometimes and this is a way to overcome it without being too uh, obvious I guess. Uh, well uh, let's go through a little bit of these controls because they're different than a guitar. You have a volume for this pickup and a volume for this pickup and then a master tone control. Uh, Let's see what this uh, back pickup sounds like all by itself. It has a bright kind of a tone to it. Uh, all right, and now the, uh, the this pickup all by itself. And uh, I kind of have a special, a certain way that I like to have these controls set up uh, so that if you get a blend of each one of them. Uh, and really, I just leave the tone all the way up and control the tone of the overall instrument by adjusting these because one pickup's a little bit brighter than the other one. Anyway, so I think that's about where I like it at. All right. Uh, again, this uh, Carolyn Monroe, named after a certain Bond girl, because uh, this guitar is just so long and slender, and uh, s I don't know, it's the kind of guitar that would wink at you while it was shooting at you from a helicopter, so. All right, well, I'm going to play you out. Adios, y'all. Uh, here we go.